what's the risk associated with not resetting my altimeter setting when I'm going from an area of high pressure to low pressure? Um, now, let's say we're flying along, fat, dumb, and happy, and we take off from an airport where the altimeter setting was 2982. Correction, 3012. And we're flying along, we go about 200 miles, and we're a lazy piece of crap pilot, and we don't actually ever update our altimeter setting. And the altimeter setting at our new airport, you know, the airport where we're landing at is 2982, but I never reset it. I didn't even bother to get get the ATIS. It was like, my GPS will take care of it. I should be fine. What What's the risk associated with not resetting my altimeter setting when I'm going from an area of high pressure to low pressure? It'll be your, you'll, your airplane will think it's higher than it is, or the instruments will, and so they'll read a elevation that's actually higher than you actually are. So you're not going to have the same AGL that you expect. So obstacles, obviously, your, your biggest risk is hitting stuff because you're, if you're at the wrong altitude, you're below because you think you're at the right altitude. And you're not getting the same safety from towers, lines, trees, stuff, rocks, <laughs> you know, a hundred feet, you could be off, but that much of a drop in pressure altimeter setting could be about a hundred feet. If you were to dip down and you had that error, you would definitely be unsafe in terms of hitting power lines, trees, fences, a tower, you know. All right. So we went 0.4 was the, ch or 0 0.3. So we're 300 feet low. Oh, I didn't know it was that far. So that's really what we're looking for, right? 